Hello, it's Carol. Wanted to show you some shortcuts using double click in Excel. And uh, I'm going to show you the first one, which is auto fit. So in column B and in column D, the data uh, doesn't fit into the columns. The columns aren't wide enough. So the quickest way to change a column's width so that it automatically fits the longest data entry is to hover over the uh, border so between B and C in this example and double click. I'll do that again for D and E. You hover over the border D and E this time and double click. So that's changed the column width. Uh, auto fill is the next thing I'm going to show you. The commission total is the order value multiplied by the commission so I'm just going to put a formula in here and if I want to copy the formula down to the other rows, the quickest way is to hover over the autofill button and when your pointer changes to a plus, double click and that will copy the formula down relative to the columns and rows. What I would then do is you get the autofill options button because you can't see it but it's changed the formatting on that column. I didn't want to change that. So I'm going to click onto the auto fill options button and choose fill without formatting. So it's just filled the formula down. That's perfect. The next thing I'm going to show you is to quickly rename a sheet tab. Instead of right clicking over the sheet tab, you can just double click onto the sheet tab and change it to whatever name you want and press enter. If you want to hide the ribbon, this is the ribbon here. Uh, with all your functions and features. You can hide the ribbon by choosing any of the tabs from the menu and double clicking. Double click, hides, and if you double click again, it shows the ribbon. Uh, another double click feature I'm gonna show you is Format Painter. So if I added some formatting to one of these cells, let's just put a bit of bold and uh, italics and some colour on that cell and I wanted to copy that formatting onto some of the other cells the quickest way to do it is to use Format Painter and you can lock Format Painter so I would select the cell with the formatting and in the Home tab choose Format Painter and by double clicking Format Painter it keeps the formatting um, and you can see your pointers change to a little paintbrush how cute is that? And anywhere I want to apply that formatting, I would just click onto the cell and it applies that same formatting. As you can see, it's still got the little paintbrush because I've double clicked. So it's holding that formula, that formatting until I press escape or click on format painter again to turn it off. That is uh, generic in other applications. So Word, PowerPoint, etc. Format Painter is amazing. So I'm just going to click onto Format Painter again and get rid of that. The next one is showing you how you can skip the OK button. So if I select the data in order value and I want to apply currency, if I open the Format Cells dialog box, in any dialog box that has an OK button, instead of selecting the option you want and moving to OK, you can actually double click on the currency. Uh, let me show you that again. I will, what can I put on here? Unit price, I'll change the unit price as well. So select the data, open the dialog box. I want to use currency, so I just double click onto it. It's just a little bit quicker, that's all. We like a bit of speed. And the only way that doesn't work is if you've got checkboxes, so you can't double click on checkboxes. Another one is if you want to edit a cell, so you can see under fruit I've misspelt grapes, you can just double click the cell and that puts the insertion point inside that cell, so you can just make the change and press enter. And then last but not least, um, if you want to uh, use the cell border to jump uh, over to the next blank cell, you can do so by, if I wanted to move right, I would hover over the border of the right 
uh, hand side of the cell, double click it, it moves me uh, until it encounters the next blank cell. I could do that again and move left, so double click. It's a very useful way, I think, of moving to the bottom of your rows. So this time I'll double click the bottom cell and it moves me to the bottom and I can double click the top border of that cell. It moves me to the top. And that's it. So I hope that's been quite helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching.